Hi everyone, this is your partner in business and personal growth, FCPA John Mudanyi. Allow me to thank you again for joining me and for tuning into this channel. I hope that you are learning and growing together with me as we learn new things. Today, I want to speak to young people. And I want to talk about this topic of what young people should invest in. What are those three important areas that young people need to think about? Uh, number one, the very, very first area is invest in yourself. As a young person, you need to invest in yourself, invest in your education, invest in building your skills. Your skills, there is difference between education and skills. You can have an academic qualification, you can have masters, you can have a bachelors, you can even have up to PhD. You will be an academician, you'll be educated, but you need to build specific skills in yourself as a young person. This skill can be, you can be in a professional area, for example, be a doctor, be a lawyer, be an accountant, be a marketer. Uh, it can also be a technical skill area. Uh, you can be an, an engineer, you can be an electrician, you can be a mechanic, uh, you can be an architect, uh, you, some specific technical skills. And it's very, very important that a young person has, in, has some skills. Don't just look for any job. I know sometimes we do this degree, Bachelor of Arts, uh, and normally Bachelor of Arts seems to be a general course. It's a, I call it the Bachelor of Anything. Uh, it's not very specific to building a certain skill in a person that can help you get a job because the job market, because as a young person, I think the first area to think about is how will I get a job to start? Um, even before you transition into the area either of self-employment or in the area of business, the, the first area, and you need that to be able to to learn from the, 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 those seasoned business people, learn systems and processes and learn how business is done, how marketing is done, how production is done uh, in, a, in, a, in a corporate environment. It gives a good background. The first three years after you leave college, uh, three to five years, if you could be in a good corporate, you learn a lot of skills uh, in a multinational or in, a, in an established organization, you learn a lot how business is done, the challenges, the experiences. That's a billion experience which later can help you in your own business. So important that to get that job, you need a skill. So train yourself in a skill, whether you want to be a human resource person, whether you want to be an accountant, whether you want to be a marketer, whether you want to be a, a procurement specialist, whether you want to be a dentist, whether you want to be a doctor, whatever it is, but invest in your skill. That's very important. Whether you want to be an IT person or, a, or skill in a certain language, whatever it is, but have a skill. So the first important thing to invest in is in yourself, but also invest on your soft skills, communication skills, interpersonal relationship skills, um, how to network with people, uh, the interna uh, uh, people skills. That's very important. Uh, the second area of investment that a young person need to think about is invest in people, networking. Human beings uh, are supported by the human beings a lot. So you must invest in your relationships. And I'm talking mainly from a career point of view. I know you. we can talk about the social, which is... Uh, uh, the romantic and the relationship, the boy-girl relationship and the rest. I'm not talking about that today. I'm talking about relationships that you build and networks with people uh, in different categories and different levels of society. At your own level, the people you've been. So you, have, you must have an interest in people. You, you need networks because for you to succeed, to grow in future, you need to learn certain skills. You need to learn certain, uh, you need to be mentored and to be coached and to be guided through and you need those kind of people so you can you can piggyback you can ride on the back of your parents 
or your elder siblings or the friends of your parents and and invest in those relationships so that they can mentor you they can coach you they can guide you you can learn certain things from them even from their own businesses even from their own experiences so it's important that you invest in people invest in relationships don't be a loner don't be a person who don't care about other people don't be a loner be a person who has got networks and connections with people because they can also people can give you ideas can tell you what's happening can give you hints and and direct you to opportunities that come into the into the into the market and then the final area you invest in is business business stocks and real estate and that comes to medium to long term that now when you move to the level where now you're building in your own business so there's certain areas that you can invest in and we can go into the details another time today i just want to give it high level that you need to now now i'm hoping that and that maybe you're a kind of person who's thinking about in the medium term some of us older folk were not we were, we were our mindset was of being employed until we retire and to be honest, I must have uh, been almost like that. But the younger people don't want to work all their lives. So if you think of your business, then you need to now start investing in a small way in uh, businesses. And business can be in the area of technology, can be in manufacturing, uh, can be in distribution. Uh, whatever it is that you're thinking about can be in marketing, can be in, uh, in, in production, something. Uh, that's business. The second area that you can invest in is the area of uh, stocks uh, and fixed income. This is basically in the stock market, uh, in the buy government bonds, government treasury bills, treasury securities, buy blue chip company stocks and other companies in the stock through the stock exchange. So that is stocks. And the final part, investment category, is the area of property. And the property you uh, in the long term, property is secure. The returns normally is not. If you if you are looking at if your person is looking at uh, cash flow uh, from property, is not very big uh, in the short term. But the, there is normally two uh, two two items that you get. One, you get the the the, the return which comes either as rent or mainly as rent. Um, and secondly, you get also the capital appreciation, which is what really where the big growth is. Uh, from the rent side, you get a return of five, six, seven, eight percent, nine depending on where the market is. Right now, it's very low. Uh, but the capital appreciation will take it much higher in the long term. So you become a long-term investor. But the only thing is that property holds value. So those are the three important areas for a young person to invest in. Number one, invest in yourself. Number two, invest in people and relationships. Number three, invest in businesses, uh, stocks, and uh, properties, real estate. This has been your partner in business, that personal growth, FCPA, John Mudanye, talking about what a young man, where young men should ensure they invest in. I pray that this really becomes, you are the next billionaire, young man. You are the next billionaire. I have not become a billionaire myself, but you will be a billionaire. That's my prayer for you. That's my desire. Remember to subscribe, invite your friends and your relatives and your folk, and like my page, make comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. FCPA John Mudani. Subscribe channel John Mudani. You can find me on Facebook, John Mudani. You can find me on Instagram, John Mudani. And also in Twitter, John Mudani. And even LinkedIn, John Mudani. Karibu sana. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.